Hello, Internet. My name is What the Foon. Welcome to Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator. We're going to go ahead and, and further this game. We're going to continue where we last left off with meeting Brian and beating up at his Pokemon daughter game. So we're going to hopefully enjoy and see what's going to be down the road. Trying not to make assumptions about people. Thanks, Dad. First is the worst, second is the best, third is the one with the hairiest chest. I mean, I don't think women have hairy chests, but in this case, I'm dating other dads. Okay, that's a fun chipper wee, chippery way of starting our channel video. Okay, so let's go ahead. Ooh, that's loud. Ooh, that's not good. Not good. Okay, cool. All right, let's go ahead and take a nap because we deserve it. All the sunlight's making me really tired, sweetie. I don't think I didn't. I don't think I got no sleep last night. You slept for 14 hours. Exactly, and that's not nearly enough for a dad of my figure. Practice makes permanent. Thanks, Dad. That's a good tip. I need to practice more and be more permanent with my uh, lifestyle and who I want to be and who I want to reach out towards. Shave with the grain. As we walk home, I hear footsteps come from behind us. Hey, bro. I turn around and am greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig. Mm. Craig? Oh. Bro. Bro. Holy. Wow. Ooh. I haven't seen Craig in forever. Mm. It's been like too long, dude. Yeah. Wow. You look. Um. Great. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his axe? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Ah, uh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were just about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. <laughs> He picks up her tiny wrists and wave it around. River get gurgles happy. <laughs> Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my child. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to examinations with bad hangovers and the next we're both fathers. Where have you been, man? Nice. I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. Wrong voice. Okay, that's fine. No kidding! Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh. I mean, Ashley. Uh, Ashley's her name. Not, mm, nope, not, we're not bringing college names into this. She's actually, she actually still goes by Smashley, and, uh, we divorced last year. That's, uh, I, yeah, it's a sensitive subject. You haven't been around my life for a while, so you don't know. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's, it's fine, honestly, but still, that's sad. I'm gonna, okay, okay, cool. It's old news. We we take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all capacitated, capacitic, cooperative. Twins? You have three kids. I feel like, I'm okay. I'm okay with one kid that's Amanda. It's fine, it's fine, it's good. Ain't life something, bro, right? Cake stand, cake stand Craig is a father <laughs> of three. Wow. Cake stand Craig. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he drank a lot of cake stands. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink it from the keg. Right. He was very good at it too. Ah, uh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for you, you know, resistance training. That's like a cute attachment, but you jog daily? I jog whew, yearly. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I was gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but gave up after 30 minutes of uh, just walking home and just did that. 
Well, it's not. It's, uh, it's never too late to go back, dude. Go back into it, dude. I mean, you should join me sometime. You and me, baby Ashley, probably bring, uh, Amanda if you want to. Have her run with us. It'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know. Hey. Come on. Come on, dude. It'll be fun. We can grab breakfast, catch up. We can do, like, a bro brunch like the good old days. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Sounds great. Sure. Great. Let's get that let's get that going soon. Better get moving. Good seeing you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeled. Why is that? The Craig that I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living being, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. I mean, you're getting your potato, your tomatoes in yourself, so that's okay. And seasoning, too. You know, there's like those chemicals that rile up your proteins and your macros. Helps your micros, too. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then drank it like it was a thing that normal people did. It was unholy. And then I asked them what the hell he was doing. He said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bruh. He said it's like a tomato smoothie. It's not wrong, but still, it's not. you're not wrong, but, I mean, technically, he's not wrong, right, Amanda? See, you get Craig, you get, he, he jogs, he was really jogging, he's like a totally different person. Anyways, we better get home, I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later, who I feel 30 already. Dad tip three, it's called masking tape for a reason, for a reason. <laughs> Oh boy. Amanda and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has shoved some empty boxes out of the way before she sat. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. Amanda? Why? No, don't say that. Aw, oh, Dad. It's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. College or like my life outside of your bubble, okay? I know. <laughs> I know. It's just. You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around, sweetie. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day. And I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously I'm a photography major. Dude. <laughs> you promise? Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll get a dog or something. And I'm like, I got like other dads to hang out with. I mean, this is a dad simulator. You are not going to be a part of that dad stimulating aspect of my life. Who, let me tell you. But no, we're not going to get, we're getting super gay as I'm speaking this. Hey. A dog? Yes. Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's going to, is that what it's going to take, Amanda? Medium sized dog, handkerchief around his neck. I, I get to name it. That's what it will cost me to give up all my dreams. I'm a woman of simple needs. And uh, simple wants and needs. So a dog is perfectly a good reason for me to skip school and like trash my life. It's okay. It's fine. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. So I could take you up on that offer. Amanda laughs. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffle through them. She pulls out one and throws the rest back into the floor. This is from Mick Gowen College of Art and School Design. Open it. Come on. I want to see what happens. But I'm scared. Dad, I mean, I don't know if I got accepted or not. It's just an envelope. It's not going to bite you or anything. Yeah, it's just like my entire future in this envelope. Not a big deal. That's fine. She takes a deep breath. And rips open the letter with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but it's fine, it's whatever. I hold on to my breath while Amanda's eyes start back and forth, scanning the letter. Um, what does it say, honey? Uh, the administration's committee has received your application, blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, we... Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Uh -huh. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my profile. Their administration officer 
told me just to what they just wanted to see portraits or whatever. Put him in, uh, pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're amazing. You're an amazing photographer, and I know how much you worked. How much work you put into that portfolio, honey. Some other school is gonna want to snatch up for sure. Trust me. Honestly, I'm your dad. Aww. Yeah, I know it's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? Hmm. I'm fine, really. Her face says the option, but I probably shouldn't push her on it. This. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Aww. So, need me get out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. I'm, I'm not really cool. I'm like in my 30s. Come on. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yeah. Well, I'll have, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you better. So you'll have the whole place to yourself, sweetie. Yeah? What are you planning? Quickly, think of plans. Uh, I'm secretly mainer of this town. I got to attend the union meeting. I'm gonna go clubbing, you know? I'm gonna go dance the party out and like. I'm gonna put a nice outfit, I'm gonna tear it up on the dance floor, and the hottest dance move, the lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, the one all the kids these days are doing. It's gonna be fun. I'll do like the break dance with the parkour, the park houring. I'll also like touch and do the robots. All right, but I'm not gonna come pick you up if you pull anything this time. I'm just kidding. I actually am going to go and watch the game, stay home and finish unpacking, go to bed, or watch the game. Nice. Nice. Aww. Which game? Uh, you know, the the game, the one that's on tonight. The, the game on TV at somewhere other than here so you can have your day with the girls. Uh, night with the girls. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm going to do drugs and commit some light person with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at, at the least. But arson? It's, it's, uh, it's tiny. It's microscopic. I'm a street rat, Pops. You're kidding about the doing drug and crime, right, honey? I mean... I do. You are my daughter. We both know that we take things seriously, and our sarcasm is like way down, like it's over exaggerated, like saturated and saturated fat. And I'm dragging out this conversation far too long. Uh -huh. Yes, Dad. Just make sure. Just make sure. I give her a pat on the head. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? I love sports. Excuse me. It's fine. Oh. No. Making fun of sports is played out, honestly. Oh. Alright then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clean, clear out right before Emma, Amanda's, Amanda, Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Hugo. I get to meet Hugo tomorrow. Hey, Hugo, hi. Oh right, Mr. Vega. Hugo Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. I hope that they have a fun night. I'm really glad Amanda has such sweet friends, even even if I can never remember their names, one way or another. Cause dad memories is like trash. Just I'm just as I'm heading up towards my room, the doorbell rings. Ooh, uh, the extended cut is the one only cut worth watching. Who could that possibly? need anything from me right now. Do you know what time it is? It's like 11.24 p.m. as I'm recording this. That's that's what time it is. At night with like the backdrop being black. And I shouldn't have said that. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked this video, leave a like and a comment down below and I hope you enjoyed our date with one of our dads. Our select few dads. And always, this is our family channel. I hope you guys enjoy this episode too. Let me know if I'm doing anything wrong or right. So, as always, my name is Wotafu, I'm your friend, and I'll see you next time. Bye!